Hey guys, my name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today, I'm super excited to show you a pedal that does this. And this. And also this. And it's called the J-Rocket Univerb. You might remember the J-Rocket Clockwork, this one, which is their take on the original Deluxe Memory Man delay pedal. They tweaked it, they made it stereo, they put a uh, tap tempo on it and used the right components to recreate the sound of the original units. This is very similar, this time it's the Univibe, which they sort of reissued in a way. It has the right original components, but it's way more tweakable. It has a reverb built in as well, which makes this pedal so damn cool. And it's it's really clever. Um, if you look at all the ins and outs, I'll talk about it in a sec. In case you enjoy my videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel. That would help me a lot. And check out the description box under the video. You'll find timestamps, gear links, additional infos, etc. You'll find the original sounds of the Univibe in this pedal. They, it has the vibrato and chorus mode and also on top of that they put this uh, reverb in here which is a spring reverb and it sounds amazing. I'm pretty sure that this circuit is not very far from their uh, Boeing pedals tone or the circuit and it's definitely one of my favorite um, spring reverb pedals because well, it's really hard to nail that tone, to be honest. And uh, here you have two knobs for the dwell and the reverb mix, basically. And you can turn it on and off independently. Like you can use the uh, the vibe side or the uni univibe side and the reverb side independently, both on or just one on at the time. <laughs> There are four jacks. There's an input, like this. There's an input, there's an output, and there is an effects loop, which makes so much sense because the original Univibe was always used in front of overdriven amps or, or driving, whatever. So we kind of prefer a Univibe in front of our drives, but a reverb is not necessarily something you would put in front of a drive because then the overdrive or the overdriving amp would then distort the, um, the, the reverb, which sounds interesting and definitely cool for some stuff, but 
it's not the kind of thing most of us want to have. So you can loop your drive pedals here or your preamp, your amps preamp in here, which means that then the order will be guitar, univibe, your overdrives, and then the reverb and then the amp, of course, the, the power amp of the amp or the full amp if the amp is set for a clean tone. So it's, uh, it's very clever. It's kind of essential to have that option. And the guys obviously know what they're doing. They put the loop on there and it makes all the sense. That's exactly how you've heard this pedal in the intro. I had the guitar, then the Univap side on, then I had the Castellator Toxic Twins Overdrive for a mi mild crunch, in the loop of this pedal and then I came out from the reverb side into my clean Rev Dynamus amp which had no reverb on nothing whatsoever. The reverb was coming from this pedal. Let's talk about the knobs and the modes of the Univibe side. Uh, the vibrato mode is a swimmy kind of pitch modulation kind of uh, tone which um, sounds a little detuned and it's absolutely lovely. I, I absolutely love it. And the chorus mode is more of a, that traditional vibey kind of tone that you know from like Jimi Hendrix and, uh, and it sounds chewy and beautiful. I, I absolutely love it. The intensity and the chorus mixed together makes this pedal really tweakable because you can decide how aggressive that chorusy effect is and still sort of go back with the intensity if you want, don't want that to sit that heavily on your signal or do, um, do the opposite and go back with the chorus for a milder, less, less uh, aggressive chorus, but go up with the intensity with which this wobbliness still uh, maintains um, in your sound. And it just makes the pedal so easy to set up. It's, uh, it's really enjoyable. Something that I love about the pedal is that it runs on 9 volts, which is, needless to say, it's the kind of power that you want if you're a guitar player because that's what all kinds of power supplies and multi-power supplies will give you. But you need 24 volts for the Univibe circuit to, to work and to give you that kind of tone and that kind of headroom. So what it does is that it converts those 9 volts into uh, 24 internally. You don't have to worry about it. You don't need extra cables and whatever converters and stuff, it does it inside. Um, so that's that's awesome. My thoughts on the Univerb. Um, well, first of all, I absolutely adore every sound I, uh, I can get out of this box, which is amazing. And it looks like I want a pedal like this to look like, and that's awesome. Um, there's not a lot to criticize. The only thing I could imagine that people, some people would kind of dislike is the size because it's as big as two pedals. Well, it's like at least two pedals built in, so it makes sense. But um, yeah, if you didn't have a reverb on your board or you would not necessarily use one, um, then I can see this being just a bit too big for a couple of like compact pedal boards. <laughs> But honestly, 
um, if someone likes this kind of um, effect and would consider getting a Univive, like an original one, or one of the clones that some companies do, which are amazing, they're used to the size. Like the original is bigger and most of the um, sort of reissues or, well, uh, clones are at least this size and then they don't have the reverb. So I think it, it's a matter of perspective. Uh, like if you put this in context, the size is absolutely reasonable. This and the clockwork are one of the coolest new releases um, because they address an issue, which is legendary pedals are really hard to get and they are very expensive at this point and they're really uh, unreliable too. So if you get an original Deluxe Memory Man, you'll most likely um, <laughs> will be in touch with a technician a lot because those parts are old. They're not the most reliable pedals ever. And same thing for the Univibe, the original Univibes, which at this point are what, like 50 year old pedals. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a struggle to get that vibe in a more compact and definitely way more reliable format. And the Univerb does that definitely for the Univibe. All right, guys, let me know in the comments below how you enjoyed the uh, the tones I got with the Univerb. And yeah, whatever is on your mind, meet you down there in the comments and see you next week in a new video. I'll be back. Bye-bye.